What's good, sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. Before I start, I do want to say that I'm doing a sneaker giveaway, and the winner does get to choose from five pair of shoes. If you want to know what five pair of shoes those are, you can go down in the description below and find the link to that giveaway and see what shoes those are. But if you don't care and all you want to do is get a free pair of sneakers, all you got to do to enter is subscribe to this channel and subscribe to my other channel as well, which there is a link down in the description below. And one more announcement before I start and start getting all the hate in the comments. This video is just letting you guys know how to get sneakers for retail, but in all kinds of ways so if you think there's like a secret trick to it this is not the video this is just telling those people that don't know how to get sneakers for retail sometimes because there's so many ways that they don't know and I'm just informing you guys on what other ways you can be on your knowledge that I know and I'm pretty sure there's even more ways than what I know anyways the number one source that I go to is soulinks.com and the reason I go to them is because they are so organized with what they do. Once you go on their page, you can see a list of all the sneakers that are being released with the release date on the corner of the picture. So instead of having to do your research and find out when a shoe is releasing, you can just go to the website, the release date's right there. And then from there, when you click on the picture of the shoe, it does bring you to another page where it tells you all the websites that are dropping them online. And sometimes, mostly for Yeezys, he or she or whoever owns the website, they do put all the websites that are raffling them off as well, online only. And sometimes he tells you if it's in store or not. I guess it just depends on the release and how much they know. But even from that page, most of the time he even has direct links to the sneakers on that website. Because sometimes when you go to look for it on the website, you won't find it. And somehow, some way, he gets it on his website. And since the owner of that website is human, and most likely he's not going to know every single website that drops out there. So for more in-depth websites that are going to drop them, you can go to sneakernews.com. All you got to do is go in the search bar, type in the shoe that you're looking for, and then... Usually there'll be an article on all the stores that are releasing them online and in store. You kind of just got to do your research by at this point because their website is filled with so many articles and you just got to scroll down and scroll down. But if you really want a shoe for retail, then you're going to have to do some digging because it just, it takes the work and effort to actually get what you want. My next tip is a huge tip. Like you guys ha must do this if you guys want any sneaker for retail. It's obviously not guaranteed, but it will raise your chances a lot what you have to do is make a Twitter account if you don't have one and follow all these accounts that I'm about to list I am gonna read them off this page because I wrote them down because I went through my phone and I looked for the best ones just for you guys you want to go ahead and follow sneaker news Foot Locker East Bay Champs Foot Action Sneaker Shout Soul Links Sneaker Steel Kick Deals Kicks Under Cost and Kicks Finder that's 11 pages right there. As you follow them, turn on your notifications. I know it's gonna get annoying, but they will notify you for everything. And it's helped me a lot actually, and I'm sure it'll help you as well, because a lot of the times they'll tell you exactly the time a shoe releases, they'll tell you that they're gonna release a shoe, and also I forgot to mention Yeezy Mafia. They know their stuff. They're more for limited Adidas more than anything. Like the Adidas Pusha Tees, the Ace shoes that are coming out from Adidas now, NMDs, Human Races, and of course Yeezys, and just stuff like that. This video might get a little long from now, so if you want to like kind of just skip this part, go ahead. But if you guys want to know why you guys should follow these, I'm going to like kind of just give you a reason why. Sneaker News, that's probably the biggest one. They tweet out every single article that they post, at least the more popular ones, so that will help you a lot. They'll tell you when pictures surface about a shoe, they'll tell you when sneakers release, they'll tell you when they confirm, they'll tell you when rumors start. All that, they literally know everything. From what I know, they haven't messed up once and they're a really reliable source. Next up, Foot Locker, East Bay, Champs, and Foot Action. You do want to follow them and turn your notifications on because they will confirm for you that they are releasing a shoe or sometimes they have a restock or you never know. You just want to go ahead and follow them as well as Finish Line. Like today, for example, Foot Locker, East Bay, Foot Action, and Champs, they did announce that they are releasing the Yeezy Pirate Blacks, I'm going to call them, with the heel tab, the V2s, whatever you guys want to call them. I don't really care. Well, I know three out of the four did. I'm not too sure about East Bay. Next up is Sneaker Shots and Soul Links. They kind of tweet the same thing. I don't know who copies who or who does what, but there's times where they tweet different things, and that's going to help you because literally give you the links to sneakers before they release. They will tell you about restocks and when shoes are selling out and all that. The next three, Sneaker Steel, Kick Deals, and Kicks Under Cost, they're more just to find just anything below retail, which I guess I just kind of threw it in here just because... It will help you. Next up is Kicks Finder. They actually helped me out today, even though I didn't succeed, but they did notify us. Well, they notified 
yeah, us, like basically everybody that follows them, that the OG NMDs restocked on, I forgot what website, but they did restock, and I got the notification, so that helped, but unfortunately I wasn't able to go through the checkout, so I took it out there, but the fact that they actually got the restock, like a few of you guys probably didn't know that they restocked today, and I'm sure they're going to keep restocking on the OG NMDs because it's been happening a lot lately. And one more I forgot to mention is Kith, they're really good because sometimes they get shoes that you wouldn't expect them to get. Like, usually they get, like, they're really quiet about what they get. That's the thing. So your best bet is to call them or also follow them on Instagram. The problem with their Twitter is that sometimes they tweet links and they tweet them too late and they're already sold out by then. Like, they literally probably released it, like, 10, 20, 30 minutes before the release. I mean, after. And it's just, it's pointless. Like, what the hell is the point of tweeting the link when it's already sold out? And then, of course, you can go ahead and follow whatever else you want, like Soul Collector and all these other sneaker pages if you want to go ahead and follow them and get notification from them. Honestly, the more notifications, the better, but it will get annoying, so I'm just telling you guys what I use, and it has helped me, as you guys can see, the shoes that I have behind me, and also it helps me make my videos and inform you guys. Another quick tip is make a separate Instagram for just sneakers. Go ahead and follow every sneaker page you know on Instagram, and then whenever you're free, scroll through that feed, and maybe you'll find something that you didn't know, or somebody didn't tweet on Twitter, or any of that, you know. You want to raise your chances as much as possible, especially if you're trying to get shoes for retail. Shoes do pop up for retail after the release date, so don't get bummed out if you don't get it on the release date. Like I said, OG NMD restock, that's a huge shoe. The value did go down, but the hype is still there. People still want the shoe. I still want the shoe, but I'm not going to pay resale for it. Last but not least, a lot of restocks do happen. Usually websites crash, and sometimes they move the release date. They postpone it to another day. Or sometimes they even cancel orders due to bots or people getting too many shoes in their cart or shipping it to the same address. So they cancel those orders and make it fair for everybody to get them. It might not be the same quantity as the release date, but you're still getting a chance to get them for retail. Anyways, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I am sorry for making this a little long. I just wanted to inform you guys as much as I can. But before I go, I do want to give a shout out to Joel Blunt. Thank you for always showing love on my videos and always showing love in the comments. I appreciate it a lot, but now it's time to go. So make sure you stay woke. Our sneaker sign out. Peace. Redneck.